The Bible is full of stories of conflict. Rachel and Leah couldn't get along. Jacob and Esau fought a lot. And you know the story of Cain and Abel. There's a lot of drama in here. I'm guessing the ingredients for the soup recipe I'm about to share are readily available in your own home. You don't have to risk infection and go to the store. The problem is this soup tastes bad. Nevertheless, you might find it's what's for supper. So what are the ingredients, you ask? You need a room full of family on quarantine. You need some restless kids, a crabby dad. You need a mom who's going to pull her hair out if somebody calls mommy one more time. You need a barking dog, a cat who jumps on the counter and spills Cheerios everywhere. Throw in a dash of bad breath, a dash of sarcastic comments, and a dash of slow internet. Cook these ingredients together for any extended period of time, and you have what's called conflict soup. It tastes a lot like arguments, bickering, and bitter snubs, and it makes for long days. A better recipe has different ingredients. A good night's sleep, a walk in the sunshine, alone time with God, space, fast internet, and did I mention alone time with God? This is peace soup, and it's much better tasting. <laughs> Romans 12, 18 says, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. That's not easy under quarantine, but we're sure going to give it a try.